Hello and welcome to Pandemic The Cure in about 3 minutes. It is a game for 1 to 4 players. It has a solo mode. Playing time is around 30 to 40 minutes. It's a reasonably simple game. The world is in danger once again. Four major diseases have broken out at once, and it's up to you and your elite team to save the world. Sound familiar? Well that's because the game's theme is the same as the original Pandemic. It's a reimagining of Pandemic with one major change to the game. Dice. Lots of them. You win this game if you manage to find cures for all four diseases. You lose this game if either the infection or outbreak markers reach the end of their track, or if you need to pull dice from the infection bag and there are none available. Cooperative. The CDC team must work together to win this game. Push your luck. Action dice can be rolled as often as you want until they show a biohazard result. Dice. Seriously, this game has a lot of dice. Player turn. You will take your entire turn before passing to the next player. Each player has a character with their own unique abilities and special action dice. You roll your dice, removing any showing the biohazard symbol. You can re-roll your dice as many times as you wish, only stopping if they show a biohazard. For each biohazard rolled, advance the infection track one space. If that causes the marker to enter an epidemic space, pull a number of dice shown here from the infection bag, as well as any dice in the treatment area in the middle of the table. Roll them and place them on the regions on the board. There are several basic dice actions you can do on your turn. Let's look at them. Sail allows you to move to an adjacent region. Fly allows you to move to any region. Treat allows you to move a die from the region you are in to the treatment area in the middle of the table, or from the treatment area to the infection bag. Sample allows you to take a die from the treatment area and lock it down. This die can be used for finding a cure. There are some dice that show multiple action choices, and there are some character specific special actions as well. You can give samples to another player if you are in the same region as them. To find a cure, roll all dice of the matching color. If they total 13 or more, a cure is found. Finally, draw a number of dice from the infection bag based on the infection track. Roll them and add them to the board. If there are ever four or more dice of the same color in a region, advance the outbreak marker and move one of those dice one space clockwise. Dice with a cure symbol on them go to the CDC board and can be used to play special cards. It is now the next player's turn. Why would you like this game? A lot of what works in Pandemic works again here. This is a game with a theme that is really easy to grasp and simple core mechanics that are easy to teach. And weirdly, despite it being a dice based game, I find Pandemic the Cure gives me more control over my destiny than the original game. And that's because there are so many dice rolls in this game, a bad roll is drowned out under the law of averages. And the ability to push your luck re-rolling dice adds an extra decision layer. Each of the playable classes also feels unique and offers a different playstyle and different team makeups. And I really recommend the expansion, if only to increase the number of characters available to recruit from. The best thing about this game is the dice. If you love rolling dice, there are so many in this game, and even more if you add in the expansion. However, this is a dice based game, and if that immediately puts you on edge, walk away now. There will be well over 100 dice rolls in a game, and this does mean, on occasion, you will roll nothing but biohazards. And like all pandemic games, it is prone to alpha gaming. Pandemic the Cure stands out from its family of games for having a totally different core mechanic, but they are certainly worth checking out. And if you love dice, check out Roll for the Galaxy, which was designed by the co-designer of the Pandemic the Cure expansion. Pandemic the Cure. It's not the goth version of Pandemic at all. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.